probably have one of these that are lying around, or one of the uh, older R4 cards. And you you know that it works on the original DS and the DS Lite. But did you know that you can make it work on the 3DS? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how you can make the original R4 or any other really old R4 that do not R4s that are not detected by 3DS that will make it work. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial. Uh, I've searched YouTube and I have not seen any uh, videos like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to actually do this on a step-by-step -step tutorial. You will need uh, for your 3DS, you will need uh, like a CIA installer like FBI or CIA Angel. I don't know about CIA Angel, but I know FBI works. So yeah, so we'll go ahead and make this work on this. So let's get started. All right, so you're gonna need to uh, go on your computer and go to, link go to the link in the description I provided below. And it's gonna bring you to this uh, forum on GBA, GBA Temp, and so it's gonna give you all this information on how this guy named Apache Thunder, uh, he made R4s, um, the original R4s work on the uh, new 3DS and the 3DS, so it gives you all this information that you can go through and read, but uh, you may be wondering, oh, the, the, he already has tutorials here, but uh, these only show, um, show him using, doesn't actually show you how to get it, so basically uh, just skip that. I'll go down here and you can see confirmed working it'll have all these links and so uh if you have the original r4 like me just find the one that uh that you have installed uh the r4 i have i've shown you guys uh has wood r4 on it but this one is for the original one or whatever uh it says all the conditions that you need so this is the one we have right i have one right here just click the one that you have uh, go ahead tap on it click on it and it'll automatically install for you so you have chosen to open Go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and download so we can go to our files. And go to downloads. So you can see it's right here. What R4 launcher? Go ahead, extract files. And extract it. So you can see uh, you have two files. What R4 DSI and uh, what R4. This is the NDS file. You do not need this one. It's just there. I don't know why. Go ahead, delete it. So you even need the CIA file. Now, uh, Go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and copy, and go ahead to your, uh, take your, um, <coughs> SD card from your, either new 3DS or old 3DS, and just plug it into your computer. Um, if you do not already, make a, uh, folder on the root of it, called CIAs, and, uh, go ahead, and you can just paste it there, and that's all you're gonna need to do, and we're gonna go ahead and eject it, and... Now we'll back be uh we'll go back on right, the now camera. We are back from the computer. Uh, now we have uh, put our micro SD card back into our new 3ds. Uh, if you have a normal 3ds, you can just pop it back in there. But um, we have our R4 card here. We have the CI installed. So go ahead, turn on your 3ds, and you're gonna go ahead and need to launch FBI. <clears throat> Should be nice. Alright, we're gonna go to SD and CIAs and give a few seconds and the word off. And there's the CIA we put from our computer, so go ahead and hit install and delete. And you can hit just install, but I'm gonna hit install and delete. Install finish, it's, it should be insanely fast. Press the home button, give a few seconds, and on the bottom it should say new software has been added to the home menu. And it's gonna say what R4 or whatever which which one you installed. So we're gonna go back here to FBI and then go ahead and close it. And now we're gonna take R4 and uh, put it into. And go ahead and launch it. So as you can see, there's this glitch where uh, it's gonna look like this, white screen on top and black screen on the bottom, uh, and if you press something, it's gonna give you that, and so it's, you're gonna need to hit that. Uh, this happened to me on my other 3DS, uh, this is a very common glitch for this, I don't know uh, if it'll happen to you guys, but um, so what I've gone and done is I've gone a piece of, um, not cardboard, but uh, note, note card, uh, like around the size of this, hold on, let me go get it. 
all right like here you can see it matches this so now what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna put it back in with this surprisingly this seemed to fix it fix it i don't know why but it actually worked so i'm not even gonna question it i'm just gonna so go ahead and put it in as you can see it detects it with the white it is now detected before it wasn't detected so i'm gonna go back and launch it now don't ask me why it works there's a link on uh i created a thread on gba temp and as you can see it is working we're gonna go ahead and our games and you can see we have our games go ahead and launch one of these there you go amazing thank you guys so much for watching please remember to comment subscribe for more videos please know here